guys, welcome back to Ninjago News TV. Today's video is a finale, if you will, to the episode review series. At the end of the season, one of my post coverage videos is to rank every episode of the season, and yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Note that the episode ranking is kind of based on the scores which I gave them in the reviews, and note that my opinions may have changed. And in addition, it's also based on would I want to rewatch this episode? How much would I want to rewatch this episode? So, with that being said, let's get started. My least favorite episode of the entire season is the season premiere, episode 85, First Born. This episode was good when it aired, actually, but when you compare it to other episodes, it's really not that good. Much of the action in Ninjago is kind of forced and very, very little compared to what would come in the future. Elemental Masters kind of also show up out of nowhere, which I didn't really like. And as for the first one, the best part was probably the Stormbringer dragon chase, which is actually done well. However, the cave drawings were never really explained, and the other three ninja don't really do much except get captured. So this is definitely my least favorite episode of the season. Episode 86 takes the spot for number 9. This episode was good, and definitely a big step up from Firstborn. However, it wasn't great. Much of the plot in Ninjago was massive filler, and nothing happened there at all other than reuniting with the other elemental masters. However, first one was much different. Yes, it was filler, but at least it was kind of good in a way. I mean, the Dragon's Den fight was pretty fun to watch. We also got an introduction to Iron Baron and Heavy Metal. It was pretty cool. This episode, once again, was also a major step up from the last episode, episode 86 in my rankings. And it was a pretty good episode. There were problems, and let's address the problems first. The biggest problem in this episode was the Ninjago plot, which was massive filler. There was nothing going on in Ninjago when they really should and could have started the Sons of Garmin on ambush right away. It made no sense why they did. As for the first round storyline, it's really amazing. The montage where they build the dragon is super cool, and yeah, that idea of building the dragon is really, really cool. Not to mention the Firstborn Dragon attack, which was the Firstborn Dragon's debut. We also get to see Iron Baron in action, and also the Firstborn, and all of her power. She is a force to be reckoned with, really. It's a good uh, episode. I mean, I would watch this just for the first round plot, but really, Ninjago plot brings it down here. Episode 91, one of the weakest links of the season. See what I did there? That's a joke by Merc Fusion, not me. So, as for episode 91, I really didn't like it, and that's why it went down here. You've heard me in my Let's Look Back special and some of my other review videos talking about how I didn't really like this episode, and I really didn't. The plot in both realms were kind of filler, to be honest. In Ninjago, the action could have started right away with Mishtake could have gotten right away, and all that could have been, time could have been like saved, really. Now, as for the first realm, it's not just that it's filler, it's repetitive also. The action is very repetitive and pretty much just like what happened in the last episode. Faith gets captured, which is pretty much the only good part about the episode, considering they threw a curveball at us, but other than that, it's not an episode really worth rewatching. This was where the episodes actually got really good. Radio Free Ninjago was the only third episode of the season, but it was an amazing episode. There was action going on in both realms. Yes, the Dragon Hunt in the first realm was filler, but just the case with episode 86, it was still fun to watch and quote-unquote good filler. I pretty much enjoyed the Dragon Hunt very much. It was very cool to see the Dragon Keeper culture, and also the soundtrack in that episode was stunning. That's where we first got Iron Baron's theme and some other soundtracks additionally. Now for Ninjago, it was just as good, if not even better. The Borg Tower infiltration was my favorite part, and we got to see all the elemental masters working together to infiltrate the place. We also got to see Harumi, who played a larger role in the episode, and Garmadon as well. Overall, really good episode. Episode 90, Two Lies, One Truth, takes the number 5 spot on my list. This episode was really good, and mostly because of the Ninjago plot. We started out in Ninjago with pretty much a really amazing Harumi and Garmadon scene, my favorite scene in the entire episode. It was our first foreshadowing at season 10, and the darkness and the, slash the Oni in the Departed Realm, that was our first foreshadowing there, not to mention one of the best soundtracks of the season, honestly, was Harumi's rendition, piano rendition theme in that scene, not to mention it was just a really well done scene, nevertheless, where Garmadon deems Harumi as his daughter. Not to mention the first realm storyline was good, because back then, then the action wasn't repetitive. The idea of the ninja getting chased by dragon keepers wasn't repetitive. It was only repetitive once episode 90 totally reused that idea. Exploring Oni Land was also really cool, additionally. And Faith revealing that Iron Baron actually tricked them all, that was also really well done. Episode 89, The Gilded Path, was my fourth favorite episode of the season. 
We started out the episode with an attack on the resistance base with, with the Sons of Garmin, Rumi leading the attack and actually donning the Mask of Hatred, as you can see in this picture, which is really cool. We got to see Harumi and Lloyd have some more interaction. And of course, much of the resistance was captured in this attack, except for a few members. But even in the first round, the plot was really good also. It was not action-packed, but you know what? It was awesome. We got the backstory between the first Warren Dragon and the first Finjitsu Master, which is actually the only bit of backstory we got in the entire season in that episode. Not to mention Heavy Metal's big reveal as Faith. That was a really well done part of the season, to be honest. And this is a really good episode. This was where the episodes actually got amazing. And I'm saying amazing because these episodes were a step up. The episode started out with the continuation of episode 91 in Ninjago, and we got to see the true face of an Oni, as you can see in this image. Misaki was actually captured, but Skylar got away with Garmin's powers. And the rest of the episode is awesome. The power struggle between Skylar and Garmin actually led to Rumi being killed, which was an amazing scene, very powerful, very sad, one of the saddest scenes in Ninjago, in my opinion. And not to mention, in the first realm, we also see that interaction with Iron Baron and Wu is kind of foreshadowed, and that did come in the next episode, of course. But we did see more of Faith and the Dragon Keepers and their culture, pretty much. Not to mention, Faith exposing Iron Baron was also super cool. Episode 94, Green Destiny, had quite a bit of flaws, but nevertheless, it's my second favorite episode in the entire season. This episode is simply amazing, as it pretty much merges both of the storylines together. It starts out with the ninja reuniting, and then of course, the ninja do take down the Colossus. That was a bit of a subplot, but it was still fun nevertheless. However, the main action is Wu and Lloyd versus Garmadon. We get to see Wu and Lloyd fight together against Garmadon for a brief moment, even a brief Wu versus Garmadon alone fight, but then Wu is pretty much knocked off the building, and Lloyd is faced to fight Garmadon. Lloyd is left to fight Garmadon alone. So, yeah. And then, of course, Lloyd does get his power back and Garmadon loses his, which is a really well done scene with amazing animation and an awesome rendition of Lloyd's theme, the Green Ninja theme. But the end of the episode is kind of ominous and Garmadon's fate is not what I was expecting, but it's kind of the only thing that disappointed me about this season pretty much. But the ending of the episode had some major foreshadowing for the next season and it did that foreshadowing just right. Episode 93, Lessons for a Master, was my favorite episode in the entire season. If I had to rewatch one episode from this season, I would definitely rewatch this one without any competition. This episode was done really well, and my best part, my favorite part about this episode, was definitely Wu and Iron Baron retrieving the dragon armor. There was such a powerful message about lies, especially Iron Baron's fate in this episode, not to mention the amazing rendition of Iron Baron's theme when he goes to get the dragon armor. Also, he looks ridiculous with the armor on, Iron Baron that is. Not to mention the end of the episode was just super nostalgic and actually used the pilot dragon theme for a brief moment there. This is the first time we saw the ninja using dragon safari realms since the pilots if I'm correct. And not to mention Ninjako was cool, it wasn't the main focus, but Ultraviolet vs Neo was fun to watch. Not to mention them escaping the Colossus, that was also fun to watch as well. That's gonna wrap up my video, so what did you think of season 9? How would you rank the episodes, what, worst to best? Let me know in the comments, I really want to hear. So thanks for watching, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone ever you know, I will see you next time.